Not ready yet. All right. Amen. He's not ready yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's good to be here. Remember, the t-shirts are up here. They're going fast, folks. I was sitting up there, and I'm telling you, they're going really quick. This year, I think the shirts are really nice with that, uh, with that pumpkin spice color. And that's the time of the year we're in right now. And so be sure to get your t-shirts while they got plenty of sizes right now. We do have all sizes left, and so uh, whatever size you may be. We've also got some youth shirts, a few. We don't have a lot, but we have some youth shirts up there as well. So be sure to pick up your shirts. There's schedules up here in the tent right here where my dear wife Earl is sitting there. And so if you need a shirt or if you need a schedule, they're there to pick them up. We've got three days of gospel music coming, amen? Three days of gospel music coming up. How many are glad to be here for all weekend? Amen. We hope you can be here every day. Uh, we've got a big day scheduled today. Uh, Brother Michael Combs will be coming on here in just a little while to say we're glad to have Michael. Did y'all enjoy Billy Fields preaching? How many were here for his preaching this morning? Amen. 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 Billy's going to be here later in the day to say ministry that we have at Hager Hill Free Will Baptist Church, uh, Brother Chris Crider and his wife. It is a special ministry. We have a service at 2 o'clock every Sunday, and the name of it is Forbid Them Not. It is a special service. It's geared for autistic children and their families, uh, or any special needs child and their families. Many times, all of us, how many pastors we got here? Where you raise your hand? Many times, no matter how hard we try as pastors, those families sometimes feel a little bit left out, even though we, or they may feel a little bit uncomfortable. They might think sometimes people are, because their children can't be controlled, and they think sometimes they're disrupting the service. And Brother Chris Kreider began this ministry. And man, I'll tell you, you ought, you ought to attend one of those services. It is phenomenal. Those children, it's so loud in there sometimes. It's unbelievable. But you know what? They worship the Lord. Amen. And they praise God. And the families feel more comfortable. And it's a great ministry. So please pray for Forbid Them Not. So when you see that on the front of these shirts this year, that's what that's representing. It's a new ministry that we've just started. And we're really excited about it. If you know a family in the eastern Kentucky area anywhere that is in that kind of a need, send them by, will you? We'll make them feel at home and we'll minister to them. And also, we're, we're working on right now, we're getting, trying to get people trained so that we can have we can have Sunday school for the kids. We can have all kinds of youth activities for the kids. And at the same time, that will alleviate the mom and dads for a few minutes to be able to wash them uh, over in the sanctuary. So, and also, the kids are going to learn about Jesus. Amen. It's a big ministry. It's a great undertaking. But we're excited to be a part of it. So, Help us out with prayer. How many will promise me you'll pray for that ministry? Amen. Thank God. All right. All right. Are you ready? Brother Eddie Street, make him welcome to the breaks today.
a big problem with you. I think I'm always going to say what we do. We'll be asking the Lord to touch his ankle. We'll be praying for your healing touch, Father, right now. Lord, by your stripes, he's healed, Father. We've got so much to do with you. I must take time to pray. Father, take his word to pray for you. Or you get busy all the time. In this life. But I found out if I just take time in the morning. Found out just a long time ago. If I take a little time for him in the morning, the day just goes a lot better. Sure, there are days when troubles come. There's always going to be that. But I'm glad that I've got a friend that walks with me. Speaks closer than any brother ever could. I'm glad today that I just talked to him a little while. We're just I got hay that needs cutting, cattle to feed. I got bills that need paying, letters to read. My old house could use paint, and my room swear and thin. I don't know where the time goes I run against the wind I don't have time not to spend time Down on my knees Thanking and praising the King of all kings Confessing my sin and releasing my shame Trust in the power found in Jesus' name. There's so much to do today. I don't have time not to pray. Got a class to teach someday on Luke chapter 3. It's true for me right now. I got a couple of grandkids. They need to spend time with me. Yeah, there's more left to be done than any one man can do. I'll start my day here, Lord, crying out to you, because I don't have time not to spend time down on my knees, thanking and praising the King of all things, confessing my sin and releasing my shame. Trust in the power found in Jesus' name. There's so much to do today. Lord, I need you each step of the way. I don't have time not to pray. Thank you all. Enjoy being here this morning. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, in the morning, I think. So, this is Johnson family doing good today. They're a little younger than I am, but they they they've been playing a long time. Mike Mullins is a new artist. Appreciate you, Lester. Eddie Street, let's hear it for Eddie. Yeah. Amen.